live and local. Rochester Today continues on Rochester's News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Hey, it's James Raby and uh, yeah. Misha Johnson, and you're here to talk about something that I think should have been in this town a long time ago. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Shakespeare Festival. When people hear this, I don't know what they imagine, so please describe what people are going to see when they go to the Peace Plaza on the 15th of June. Yeah, absolutely. I would say, think Shakespeare meets the Renaissance Festival. Oh, Lots of daggers and cleavage then. <laughs> Something maybe closer to that. Right, but right. yeah, shortened performances, mm-hmm. shortened Shakespeare scenes up on the stage. You're going to have some strolling minstrels. You're going to have some jugglers. You're going to have some street theater. So it's kind of going to be a, a lot like the the Renaissance Festival, except Shakespeare style. That's that's really fun. Who, who all is going to be involved in it? Boy, we have uh, over 20 organizations that are a part of this. So you're going to see uh, the Great River Shakespeare Festival is going to be up here. Also going to have uh, Absolute Theater, Brave Community Theater. The castle is even going to uh, be doing some uh, flower crowns and some fun crafts for some kids. Cool. So. Yeah. The castle. You say they're going to have short skits, short in Shakespeare. Give, give me a little example of what that might be like. Yeah, absolutely. So John Marshall is also going to be there, and they will be doing Tybalt's Death from Romeo and Juliet. So that'll be, you know, the 15-minute right. scene from Romeo and Juliet. Um, our uh, children's theater company, Immersion Youth Repertory, will be doing a 30-minute version of Midsummer Night's Dream. Condensed. It's like the Reader's Digest condensed version of that's things. That's right. That's right. So accessible for all. It should be a good time. Right. We talked a little bit about a show that I saw a couple weeks ago that you said some of those folks are coming back. They, they did a ton of singing and uh and insult dueling. The Great River Shakespeare Festival is going to have a presence there, so they're going to bring their apprentice troupe up to uh, the festival, and they'll be doing pieces from Macbeth and Cymbeline from their season. Macbeth? Mm-hmm. Wow. What, can you give us a hint which one it is? You know, which which it's one a, in the it's Scottish gonna, tragedy? I, I, It'll be a mystery. I don't know myself what scenes they're doing uh, from that. Really? Or are you just so like... I don't know if it'll be the, the witches, or I'm not sure I'm not sure what will happen. And even the local vendors are serving up uh, Renaissance-themed food. Oh, so such as? Yes. Really turkey legs, of course. Blue right. Duck is serving up some turkey legs. Uh, Grand Rounds, uh, we have to hear a little mystery about what they're doing, but that Ooh. steam will be there as well. And then I'm also excited the kids will have a chance to get up on the stage and, and perform as they will on our little play stage. So they're doing some puppet theater. And Are you saying kids are going to get it, be able to get on stage? Just yeah. kids that are wandering by will be able to join in? That's right. That's awesome. That's right. So this is going to be a full family thing. Full family event. Don't need to know a diggity darn thing (laughs) about Willie Shakes and his peeps. That's right. Very accessible. Very accessible Shakespeare Festival. Well, I appreciate you coming in and talking to me today. Yeah, thank you so much.